It'd be nice if you could read this question and try it on your own. Um, here we have the options, the four options. We're asked to find our express vector RW in terms of U and V. All right, so we want to get from R to W. No, I drew a line from R to W because that's where they want us to actually express RW in terms of U and V. So we're going to go, in order to get from R to W, we're going to go from R to Z and then from Z to W. So we still end up at W from R to W. We can go from R to Z and Z to W. So Z acts, acting as our transit point. So RW can be expressed as R to Z and then from Z to W. It's like the triangle law of vectors. Now we know that we know that from X to W is the vector V, right? So over here as well, opposite sides, same length, same direction will also be the same vector V. Now if we want to, if we're going from R to Z, where R is the midpoint, then this would just halfway. So be so that will be half of V, right? And then if we want to go from Z to W, now remember from X to to Y, that's U. That means from W to Z, right? Opposite side, same length, same direction, that's also U. But now we want to go from Z to W. So once we go in the opposite direction, then that will be what? Then that will be a negative U. So we're going to go from R to Z, which is going to be a half V. We already established that. And going from Z to W, that'll be negative U. Of course, half V plus negative U. The plus and minus, or plus and negative, we can write that as minus. So it's half V minus U. And let's see if any option is written in that form. Half V minus U. Answer is A.